is not one of those it's not you, it's me situations. Oh no, it was all fucking you, baby. It was all you. And this was not my first rodeo. I have uh, had many a spectacular breakup in my life. Uh, why? Well, the reason is pretty simple. If there's a prize for rotten judgment, I guess I've already won that. No man is worth the aggravation. That's ancient history, been there, done that. I have terrible taste in men. <laughs> I'm truly atrocious. My taste in men could be described as emotionally unavailable, if you really had to break yes! it down. Oh yeah. See, uh, it's terrible and destructive. But you know what? I really think that it's because those men are usually not smart enough to be intimidated by me. And I know you're not allowed to say that out loud. Okay, but I just did, so there you go. Okay, I scare men. They tell me that regularly. But you know what, if you ask my sister what my type in men is, do you know what she'll say? The most generic looking white man in the room. Ouch, well fuck you very much. You know, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what do these two things have in common? It's a mystery. And then I realized, oh, the most generic looking white man in the room is often the most toxic man in the room. Ooh. Who would have thought? <laughs> right? I mean, you know, I kind of had to realize that there was a correlation. So, uh, yeah, I think we can all agree because look, okay, I am aware of my privilege. I am a straight, cis, upper middle class Jewish girl from Bethesda. I get it. In this current political shitstorm, I am rarely the one with a target on my back. But what I have realized that I think we can all agree on through my garbage taste in men and the current political circus we're in, the most generic looking white man in the room, usually the fucking problem. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a sucker.